Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this is going to be my first tutorial using Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. And what I want to show you is how to import Adobe Illustrator files so you can edit them and actually use them in Storyboard. Now, this isn't actually easy to find, so I wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial of it. Actually, a friend of mine reached out to me and said, hey, how do you do this? And at the time, I hadn't even downloaded Storyboard yet, so I was like, I don't know, let me ask a few people. And most people like, it's really easy to import a JPEG or something from Photoshop, but there's a little trick to importing something from Illustrator. So I want to show you that. I'm going to jump over here to Illustrator. All right, so I have this file and I've set it up a certain way. So I have this black and white uh, drawing on one layer and then I decided to add color to this rook here on a different layer. So I've saved this document out as coloring book layers. Now, something else I want to let you know, I'm actually working in Illustrator CS6. Typically, when you're saving out something to go to Toon Boom, you'll want to save it out a few versions prior. Now, you can still work in CC or 2015, 2017, 2018, whatever year we're using. You can still save it or you save it in those programs, but when you go to save, save it as an earlier version. And the way you would do that, let's see if my computer will let me. Just come down and do Save As. And I'll just call this layers two. And I'll click on save. And you can always come here and change the version once you saved it in Illustrator format. Okay. But what I do want to do is jump back over here to storyboard. And if I go to file, import, I can say images as scenes or images as layers. It technically doesn't matter because when I go to desktop, hey, there is my Illustrator files, but I can't bring them in. I can bring in a PNG, that's no problem. Let's hit cancel. So what do you do? In Storyboard Pro, I'm gonna go over to my library tab and in my global library, I can simply right click and come down and select import files. Now, once I've done that, I can click directly on the Illustrator file and click open. Now it's brought over coloringbooklayers.tpl as in template. Now, technically I could have just placed it in a template folder, but I like using it in the global folder for now. That's just my personal preference. So I'm gonna click this and drag this over. And if you look, hey, there's that green rook. And you can go in here and you can actually edit it. I'm using my contour editor. But you know what's not here? What is not here is the rest of our scene. Okay, now let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and delete that layer and you also pull this out of my global library. I'll just go ahead and delete here. And let's jump back over to Illustrator. And in my layers, what I wanna do is I'll click here and I'll come down and select flatten artwork. So this is all now one solid layer. And I'll go to save as, and I'll make this one flat. Now, because I'm actually working in Illustrator CS6, I'm just gonna leave it as CS6. If you're working in Illustrator CC, I would suggest saving it out to a lower version. Um, and by the way, try it out. If you can just do it normally, let me know. Uh, so leave, leave a comment and let me know how, how that worked out. All right, so now we'll do this again. 
I'll import files. And there's coloring book flat. I'll click open. And again, let's come over here with the TPL extension. Drag this over. And there is everybody. Matter of fact, let's see, I can grab that white background. And let's see, can we change the color of that? I'm curious. Pretty cool. So we can still go in here and edit this because it is a vector. Okay. And that's how you would bring Illustrator files into Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Hey, did you like this video? Be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Have a good one.